Professional development, in my opinion, is the connecting of the heart to the mind to really create the magic in classrooms for kids. The uh, use of technology is the real world application of which kids are in, and it's all about the change that uh, they're going to endure and going to deal with in their lifetime. And so uh, the need for us to integrate and to utilize uh, technology and all of our instructional strategies, I think are more compelling uh, now than ever. Professional development for me is an opportunity for teachers or administrators to stay in tune to what's going on in other districts, other states, or even other classrooms. Um, it's an opportunity to steal ideas sometimes or get a new idea to come in and kind of refresh what you're doing in the classroom. I think also that we began to look creatively at professional development. It doesn't mean that you have to leave for three days or be away from your classroom for you know an all day outing. It can be watching a video during your plan time. Maybe go to K-12, simply K-12 and watching a video. It could be reading an article that you find in some of our um, education magazines that we have available or just visiting with other teachers or going and observing classrooms. I think today we're beginning to be more creative about that um, professional development and using the resources that we have readily available as opposed to having to leave our site. Is professional development important enough to keep me away from the district today important enough to keep me away from my site we have to be lifelong learners especially when it comes to technology unfortunately our students are winning the race don't let them win Uh, sometimes it's really hard to get away to go to professional development because you're, you get bogged down with the things that you know you're doing in class. But um, I really try to remember that even if you know it's a half day or a full day, it seems like I can always come back with at least one idea. And um, when I first started teaching, I remember Carol Simmons told me that um, that was your judge of whether professional development was valid, was if you came back with at least one thing that you could integrate in your class. And I don't think I've ever been to a professional development where I couldn't at least implement one thing when I returned. So even though uh, it is hard to get away, I always try to make time to go to at least some things during the year. When it comes to professional development, I mean, my whole teaching career changed. Um, my approach to um, my subject, to what I teach changed when I went to professional development from College Board for advanced placement. Um, the, their whole mindset was that students were supposed to be doing the work and I never I would have thought since I was a teacher I needed to be the sage on stage and impart my vast knowledge to them but that doesn't end up in authentic learning so when I when I came back from the AP Institute which by the way was in California it was a terrible thing that somebody had to do it um, when I came back I had a whole different idea of student engagement. Um, <laughs> uh, now, students are the ones who use their minds and do critical thinking instead of the poor, stared upon teacher. <laughs> Thank you.
professional development for teachers and administrators with my generation of teaching is very important with technology because we've had no exposure. Um, it is a foreign world to us. We're used to being up with chalkboards, literally. And so using technology in the classroom is a very scary venture. Although it's a uh, way with the future, we are having to learn how to do those kinds of things. So go for the gold, make today a, a very beneficial day with using technology so that you'll be very comfortable in your classrooms when that time comes.